just just talk about uh, first practice in an all uniform. How was it? It was great. Uh, I, you know, I was really looking forward to it. Um, I've always wanted to come to Auburn and uh, play here ever since I got out of high school. So I mean, it was just kind of a, the whole thing has been a dream for me, and that really just you know um, kind of set it in stone. And uh, it, was, it was great. Feel like you're getting adjusted with the new school and everything? Yes, sir. I feel like after, but after the first week, I was you know uh, classes were just you know hitting good, and um, I was in workouts and everything. So about after that first week, everything just kind of started getting you know getting the flow. Jay, you have a reputation as being a physical player. Are you anxious to put the pads on? I am. Today, it's, it's kind of hard whenever you just go out in helmets and um, you still kind of got to go against the defense because you don't know I mean, what's, what's too hard and what's, you know, what's too soft. So you got to find that little medium right there to make everybody happy. But um, and once you get all the pads on and everything, it's kind of just ball to the wall, see what you can do. So I'm excited about that. Just talk about your pr progression from, from a guy that wasn't recruited that much out of high school to, to where you are now. Um, when I, you know, whenever I left high school, I, I really didn't have any offers. That's why I went to Illinois because it was probably the best offer that I had, and um, the school I felt like fit me best. You know, and um, I think it's really helped me uh, see that I don't, you know, you don't really have to have a lot of offers or do anything like that to get places you want to be and stuff like that. There's always other ways, and um, you know, I feel very like things really worked out for me, and the cards kind of fell out good. You know, so. Um, I'm happy about it, and yeah. So you said you've been an Auburn fan all your life? Uh, growing up, I really, my parents were not really big football fans either way. You know, I have three older sisters, so I mean, it was kind of a, before I came along, it's a girl's house, but uh, as I started growing up, I became an Auburn fan. My sister came to school here and everything, so that definitely, you know, um, but this is the school I wanted to be at whenever I, whenever I was graduating high school. Has it been what you expected since you've been here? Yes, it has. I've, uh, before I came here to be a student, I've been on here on many visits, and uh, I always, you know, enjoyed it a lot and wanted, you know, just I had, you know, had fun. But I love the school, the campus, you know, the, the family, family atmosphere, and everything. So uh, it's definitely what I expected. Growing up, you were a guy that, 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 that played offensive line, linebacker. All of, how, how much did that help your, I guess, develop the mentality you need to play fullback? Uh, I think it did a lot, actually, because um, when I'm a high school offensive line, with my, playing with my best friends, you know, this really, this man, it was awesome. You know, um, I got to experience, you know, working as a unit, as an offense, you know, and um, you know, I only got one one year of defense in, which I was a great year. But uh, I still believe that, you know, um, not as much as far as, like, experience. I mean, it still helped, you know, playing uh, a little bit, playing offense. But I think just more of the understanding of how the offense works as a, you know, as a group. Your impressions of that coach level work? Um, practice? So far, they're, you know, they're great. I mean, I, he's, I think he's doing a great job as far as, uh, you know, learning process and um, just being a player's coach. You know, he really is. Um, a coach that I could see myself, you know, going up talking to if I needed, you know, say, you know, something to talk to him um, important about. And uh, yeah, so far, I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, being, you know, having this front coach. What are your impressions of the, the young running backs that'll be uh, they're running behind you? What, what do you think of those guys so far? Uh, so far, I mean, they, I think two or three of them ran four twos. I mean, they're fast, they're strong, uh, they're great guys, you know, and um, I'm really looking forward to, you know, playing with them. And seeing what they can do, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, they're I'm very impressed with the backs we have. Jay, when you decided to come here, did you get some assurances that they would need a fullback? Because you know the offense they had last year didn't really use one. We don't really know what they're going to run this year. You probably do, but we don't. Yeah, um, not not too much. Uh, I just knew that you know they needed a blocking back, and I wasn't really. Uh, I mean, I'm not real picky. You know, I kind of just wanted to come here and. Uh, do, you know, do whatever I can, can you know, try to find my role and uh, fit in. So, uh, you know, just wherever they need me, really. Have you been able to go back to Mobile a little bit more now that you're? Yes, I've been home four times, I think, before spring break, and then I was home all spring break. And uh, my, my mom and my sister have been up three times to visit. So it's been, for me, that's unreal, you know. Um, is in Illinois, it's a 12 and a half hour drive, and it's not like I could just pick a weekend and drive, you know, with football. You know, so really, it was only the breaks, and uh, it's crazy. And, you know, it was crazy for me just to be like, I'm going to go home this weekend and leave after class and drive home for the weekend. So it's been awesome. Any, any, you have any uncertainty about whether you're going to get the waiver to be immediately eligible or not? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, 
I, I, I feel strong that it's going to, you know, get to come through. Um, I'm hoping it does. But if not, you know, then uh, I still have a rich year. So I won't be wasting a year of eligibility. And, um, you know, I'll still have two years after that. But, I, you know, I feel, I feel good about it. So we'll see. When did you uh, hurt your knee? This was recent. It was uh, December 20th, I think, was the surgery, somewhere around there. But uh, around, it was late November, uh, we just uh, had started practicing for our bowl game. And I had a little, I've had, I got staff in um, high school, and it just looked like a little bug bite. And next thing you know, it, it was a, you know, a big knot on my knee. And uh, I showed the trainers and everything. I got some medicine, and I fell on it really hard. And after that, it just swelled up huge, and they couldn't control it, so I had to go in the hospital. But luckily, it was outside of uh, my knee, like outside of my joint. And um, the surgery was you know, only to go in to clean it just because the antibiotics weren't doing the job. And so really it wasn't, it wasn't, it looked, it, I mean, it looks like a crazy scar. It looks like I had reconstructed knee surgery. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I, I healed up I, uh, two weeks, I think, after I, I was walking. And then about a week after that, I started jogging again. And then, uh, by the time I was here, I was fully, I, you know, I jumped right into lifting and running full speed and everything. So, I mean, it really didn't set me back at all. So that was something I was worried about, but now I, I feel great about it. And was that pretty scary to have an infection that doesn't get controlled very well by antibiotics? It was very scary. Uh, the, the times I've had it previously, it just, uh, they gave me antibiotics and went right away, you know. So I thought this would be the same yeah, way, same you know. I was still practicing and everything, and uh, I fell and bumped it. And the next day, they, you know, they said the, the fall was so bad that um, all the blood rushing in was like, it, it you know, allowed it to spread so easily. But uh, it was scary. I mean, the, I went, when I showed the doctor, they, kind of freaked out and kind of freaked me out. <laughs> but, uh, you know, once they did the surgery and everything, uh, I was still kind of scared by the recovery process, but you know, I just trusted in the Lord that things would work out, and they did. So.